Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. All right, uh, I got to get this three-quarter inch wrench here. Um, all right, I got the regular three-quarter inch wrench. The reason why I got to use this one versus my other mill wrench is this dial indicator here actually holds uh, interference for my two nuts on this side right here, and I have to use the standard open end to get to those. All right. We'll crack these loose here. We don't need the hand wheel on here at this time. All right. Now your adjustment screw is over here on the back side here, and we're going to twist it. And uh, we're we're heavy or we're tilted actually towards that direction on the bottom of the travel there. So we we want to go ahead and crank it back up here. and give it just a little bit of attention there. All right, we cranked it back up to zero because we were almost zero on the side to side. There's zero, and we're like minus one, minus two. We got like a minus two in the back. Coming back up to zero, zero. Like a minus one, minus two. Minus two. Okay, so we can actually come out this way a little bit here. Let me get side to side uh, complete. Okay, we're going to call that zero. We're still a plus over here. So we just need to go. All right there. Got a plus one. We got a plus one. Minus one. Plus one. Plus one. Minus one. Zero. Plus one. Minus one. Okay, let's go ahead. We got to tighten this up here. You always want to double check it after you tighten it. You might be changing something else there. Darn close, but uh, at the real readings we got uh, minus one there, minus one there. We got plus one, about plus a half. <clears throat> um, that's in. in the eight inches all right we're gonna we're gonna lock it down there we're, we're gonna be satisfied uh, with that okay we moved our vise back over here and we got our project back in line now we want to come down, we're going to touch off, and we're just going to take bare minimum to go ahead and make a nice smooth surface right here. And then we're going to leave it right in here, and we're going to change out to the drill chuck, and we're going to drill and tap uh, six holes into here so that we can tighten down a plate across the three of these in position. All right, so I like to uh, go ahead and come down, and I, uh, I kind of like engage this uh, in the, it's... The feed is disengaged, but you can engage your hand wheel, and then you got... A very gentle control to come down and touch that off and uh, let's give it some uh, gear here um, something like that
gonna start back here close to our radius here. We're gonna feed, uh, feed the table in, come on across here, and then come on over and we'll blend the rest of it on off. All right, I, uh, I came down here, went across here, went down here, came back across this way here, and then sped off that way there. And I back skipped everywhere. And there's no there's no line there or or there uh, that uh, that you can feel. So my dialing in paid off to give me a nice flat smooth surface right here. And now we'll go ahead and we'll set up there and we'll uh, and we'll drill and uh, tap the, those six holes. Okay, yeah, uh, we come over. We grabbed the edge finder and. Uh, uh, found zero came on over here reset zero halfway on the first one here so we're just gonna go ahead and use our readout we're a half inch in uh, so we're gonna come and uh, hit three of them here we're gonna come over five eighths and then inch and a quarter and we're gonna come over here to two and a half inches from that hole and back the other direction there we're just gonna go around the circle we're gonna drill it we're gonna chamfer it we're gonna tap it in the right direction Sometimes she don't grab. <laughs> uh, go get our tap handle. All right. <clears throat> See if we got our type. Almost forgot what I came over to. <laughs> Two and a half, okay. Okay, uh, blow those out there and we're going to go make up the plate there. Okay, I get a lot of comments because you see all the, the readout and all the, the, and the fancy gadgets and all that and hanging on the side of my bridge board is a brace. <laughs> and I've taken this, this is a nice ratchet unit I found along the way and I had this uh, extra Jacobs chuck uh, and I went ahead and modified this chuck to sit on the spindle here. And I usually just keep this countersink right in there. And it lets you do a quick deburr 
on most uh, applications coming right out of the mill and it is such a handy tool to have and uh, once in a while you might have the ratchet uh, uh, need and uh, you just get a little bit of weight onto it and you don't necessarily have to have the part all clamped up and you can, you can quickly break the edge on your part there and then I just hang it on the slot on that holder there Okay, we've, we've got our three bars clamped onto our uh, dummy shaft. The plate where we got side to side and we got flat horizontal mounting for the, uh, the drill motor uh, pivot. And these surfaces let us go in and out so that this cut is going to be done in two stages of width. But it needs to go equally side to side. So this plate will let us give that feature in this jig here. All right, now the, the, this is going to mount in here like this, and it's going to be able to pivot down into the material over here, and we're going to pivot by mounting around that diameter. Now that diameter, we've got to bore out to fit in here, and then there'll be a cross pin. We're probably going to use a shoulder bolt like this, <clears throat> and then this will be able to pivot like this with an ear on each side. So this is going to give the best clamp right here with side-to-side -side thrust and a good slide straight motion. We can't do anything about the quality of the drill angle and all the idiosyncrasies that go out to there, but we can. this is exactly what we can do to hold the last known point of the, the drill uh, 90 degree head. Now after we go ahead, we're going to bore this and we're going to drill this uh, remit for this pivot here. And we're going to create the block. Once we do that, then we will, we will set everything up in here and we're going to find out where it's going to be comfortable to go ahead and give us a hand cranking knob that will let you do the feeding of the tool bit itself. <laughs> 